Eh, testing, testing, one, two, three, four, attention! You filthy earth stink beasts, prepare to meet your moosey fate as you embark on the Tokyo Black Hour Death Podcast. Ha! <laughs> I am Zim, ready to rain down doom. Well, if you keep reading white folks stealing your idea, let's get up to you don't fucked up your money. The greatest, the greatest trick of all time is somebody telling you that you're going to have it all. And you just drop the ball. <laughs> I don't understand how this world truly works when you have money, but you can also be financially bankrupt by just trying to do the right thing. Well, mean, you just got there gambling all your money. That, that's more like it. We shouldn't have no gambling. Everybody should be successful in life. No motherfucker should be giving up his house for crypto. The government should be paying us to live instead of giving Ukraine all our money so they can play goddamn the slot machines in Vegas. Patrinko! What does this mean? I don't know. You know what I blow all my money on? Yeah. Columbia. Yeah. <laughs> and we all work together, bro, all countries, and we just get rid of all the bullshit of going broke. Drugs. We need to eradicate all of that shit. If we can be a humble place, only drug you get is marijuana. That's it. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if I want to live in your authoritarian. I don't know if I want to live in your authoritarian fucking world. <laughs> hey man, it's the only shit that don't make me ravaging nigga, Brandon. <laughs> hey, well, stop. Hey man, handle your shit. You know what I'm saying? Handle yeah, your. Man, God- people can't handle their shit. Handle your That's why they keep going drugs. to Vegas. Yeah, handle your handle whatever your vice is, man. Yeah, you got to use drugs. You can't guess, let drugs use you. And we just man, and drugs <laughs> be like used, that. motherfucker, for their whole life. You said last week a man a sucker man Peter for crack. He will. Yeah, but don't get that addicted to crack. I mean, like <laughs> that monkey. That monkey ain't your friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, man, that, this is the only thing I can tell y'all. It's like getting high is dope. But, like, you can't be high all the time, you know? You got to let your feet Some hit the ground. people just gr- got weak constitution. You got to let your feet hit the ground, man. You know, so fucking getting high is like a delicacy, you know? It ain't just a routine thing. You got to, you know, go handle your business, and then you can treat yourself with a little bit of crack. A little hey, bit, man, though, some people got you know? Some people got a weak mind. But let's get on down. All the people don't fuck that. They fucked up their money. Nobody cares about the ad firm. The ad firm behind Bud Light, Dylan Malavy, or whatever fiasco. Five for they fired Malvani. thirteen staffers. Malvani, I'm sorry if I messed up your name. I don't know. Brandon, but these hillbillies want they these hillbillies went on a private jet to a goddamn Can Line Festival in like France or something. After they did this, yeah, y'all niggas gonna get fired. Are they still on vacation? No, no, no. They had this one Indian guy. He was smiling. I wonder when he came back. Here's your papers, bub. And they're on permanent vacation. Hey, you can't. Hey, my key card ain't working. And you ain't got your shit in there either. You don't belong here. Right. Go, <laughs> go get. You got. Here's your box. You got three minutes to clean your desk off. Yeah. No, we got that, mom. We already cleaned that off. You don't lost way too much money. That shit went out the. That shit went out the window. I don't know how those motherfuckers didn't get fired week one. Now they're they on vacation. Easy, they're out balling out of control <laughs> like they did a good job after they lost fucking sixty three billion dollars. I'd be ready to fucking jump out of a window. Jump chain, man. Because <laughs> technically they should never work in that field again. You know, I see on your resume. That was a bad call. <laughs> I see there's a gap in your resume. Can you explain this? I'd rather not. Yeah, yeah they well, just keep hiring new people. Yeah. Whatever. Moving moving on to Africa, man. I love my African people, even though they don't love us. C- CNBC. Jermaine shared this story for me, and I threw up in my mouth. <laughs> Africans are signing up to get their out. Al- Africans are signing up to get their eyeball scanned for sixty dollars in crypto. Boy, 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 Brandon. The first thing I said before you more, I finished. I was like, well, you need giving out $60 worth of Bitcoin, which is no good no. at $60. Are like you giving out $60 of Sonic coins? I don't want any of those. 
They're getting, just... they're getting Sam Altman world coin. What the hell? What? Uh, a personal coin? You finna <laughs> steal know. my identity and my features. So I, I, the reason he said he's doing it, it gives you opportunity to open up your bank's account. You, you get do so much stuff with just your personal access and eyes and stuff. I said, nigga, you stealing people information for sixty dollars. Oh boy, listen, <laughs> listen to this. Kenya suspended WorldCoin Tech and raided the company local office in Nibiri as a part of a large probe in the project. <laughs> this shit even in Ar- Argentina, France, Germany, and the UK has all announced in- inquiries in the business model. Mm-mm-mm. They Man. might, they might have well have been getting that Sonic coin. <laughs> then plus, I've seen the Avengers. I know what happens with people with retina scan. You know, that's how you Don't get your out. eyeball popped out. That's why you gotta stop <laughs> with the eyeball scanning. That's how. You how many movies have showed patch. you that, Brandy? A few thousand, nigga. Yeah, a few. But like I said, that's how you end up with a pirate. Can we not make an eyeball scanner that only still scans when your eyeball is attached to the body? Right. Can it like include my orbital bone? So you know, you know at least it's a little harder. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go get me one of them shiny orbs and say I'll give you a dollar worth of Bitcoin. I just want to. I just want to scan your eyeball. Hold your social security card up when you're doing it. Yeah, take a picture of that, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Boom, there you go. You got a dollar Bitcoin. Enjoy. Somebody scanning your eyeball, you might turn into Riddick, man. They really shining your eyeball so you can't see the light in the morning. This is true. <laughs> you got to go to a penal colony for that. Oh, man, tighten up, man. Let's get on down to Dollar Tree. They don't fuck up their money. Brandon was with this. We had a small conversation about it. Dollar Tree is going to come back theft. By locking up items. You know what I noticed about Dollar Tree? I ain't offended, Mike, because Dollar Tree has some good shit in there. You know a lot of that shit, poison. (laughs) 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 I I rarely buy things from a Dollar Tree because I'm just like, how can they sell it for a dollar but can't nobody else? You know, something's got to be wrong with it. they, They sell some garbage, boy. One time I bought like some Dollar Trees. What are those like? Those um aluminum foil pan. Boy, I put some beans in there. That shit fell all on the floor. I said, why would I even buy this again? I'm going to go buy the real shit. I bought some fucking Dollar Tree goddamn shaving cream. Man, <laughs> I'm like it's shaving cream. Like, how, you know, how do you fuck up shaving cream? This is how, man, dude, like, I'll put that shit, like, on my face to go to shave, you know, shave around my beard and shave my neck. And the excess, whatever I got left, I'll put on my head because I'm shaving it next. By the time I get through shaving my neck and shaving my face, the shit I put on my head is almost evaporated. Like, at least I half mean, of it is just, like, fizzled and gone. Bruh. That shit probably gave you lead poison. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure I've got brain cancer from that shit seeping through my skull, <laughs> you know. But if I bought a giant can of it and I ain't wasting it. You know, I ain't gonna throw away that dollar fucking. Bro, you got to pick and chew what you get from the Dollar Tree. And I'm like you, Martin. Now, I don't been victimized by them cheap ass <laughs> aluminum pans. Like what the fuck? I had dropped so much shit one day. I put some of that man. I slung that shit out, dog. I couldn't remember what I had made. I had picked that shit up, Brandon. And it started shaking like water in a goddamn pan. When I tell you that shit folded up on me like the whole <laughs> Back to what I said 99 podcasts ago. <laughs> Why is there a cheaper alternative? Have you ever been to a black per- a black person's house and they had them plates from the Dollar Tree? All your shit going to end on the floor as soon as you put them chips in their hot dog. You got to use seven you- of them motherfuckers. Eight. Triple the- Why do we the- make up? cheap shit that's no good? People like a deal. Some- <laughs> yeah, yeah, true that. Have you ever, anybody who listened to this show, ever been to somebody's house and they had them Dollar Tree plates in there? You might as well use a napkin. <laughs> a napkin would be stronger than them Dollar Tree plates. Get you, get you a good bounty napkin. 
That'll hold up <laughs> them goddamn dogs. I was going to say, you get, the, you get the lumberjack and you know shit's <laughs> staying where you put it. Yeah. And Boy. it's absorbent. Oh, man. Never forget, I won't tell which friend this is, but I went to his house. Excuse my lane. This nigga had that Dollar Tree toilet paper. <laughs> I might as well be fingering my own ass with this shit. It was the thinnest paper I ever seen in my life. And I'm like, my nigga, why is you buy- It's cheap. I don't wipe my behind with cheap toilet paper. It's when you, if you take a bowel movement, you do not need to be wiping yourself with our paper. You know what I'm saying? True wow. that. It's like that school paper. Yeah, you, you touching it. You digging straight through it. Yeah, I like damn. I I might as well stick my thumb in there and get it clean faster. <laughs> and one thing I can't stand, mother. Hey, look, man. I know how it is. So, I know motherfucker that buy cheap shit and you got money. What you doing, man? Yeah, dude. There's things I'll skimp out on, but toilet paper ain't one of them. I want it to be oh, like twenty ply. You know. God damn right. I ain't the one sheet doing that. When I pull it, I make sure it's good. Then I fold it and reuse it. That's how you know your toilet paper good. <laughs> now, now that shit from the Dollar Tree or whatever Jamal talking about, you can't fold that shit. You're going to use that <laughs> shit one time and it's separating in your hand. You better not have no wet do. <laughs> and then they, use, <laughs> then they use the old Dollar Tree soap. This ain't antibacterial, motherfucker. I guess when I touch this handle, all the poop on my hand don't be on your handle. <laughs> and whenever you do that, I guess you got to mind your business, right? Let me sure tell you do. something, dude. If you ever go to a girl house and you single, and she got Dollar, pa- got dollar Tree um, toilet paper in there, don't fuck with her. <laughs> don't kiss her fingers. <laughs> don't lick her fingers. Don't do nothing. <laughs> ladies, that oh, goes for men please, too. People. Hey, what, Brandon? I said, ladies, that goes for men too. If he's got dollar store toilet yeah, paper. Too. Mm. Please, hey, look, right in if you know any person that you have dated or talked to with that. It don't have to be Dollar Tree, man. What's that shit they use? I can't dare you that angel song. That shit ain't you hard. <laughs> that shit, I'm telling you, what? If you one drop of water separate thirty sheets of that shit, that's how cheap that is. <laughs> That shit, you know, man. We gotta right tighten in. up as people. Let's get on down to mind your business. These are the great stories you need to mind your business. I had a story, but I have forgotten all about it. But let's get on down to this woman who sues a um grocery store because she got a free sample or what was it called? Prescott what Prosciutto. What's that little goddamn Prosciutto. She slipped and fractured her ankle. Well, I bet you that lady who was giving her a free sample was like, damn, you done <laughs> fucked up my pension plan. <laughs> well, yeah, word. What is this? Fucking Looney Tunes. You slipped on a goddamn thing of prosciutto. Mm-mm. Man, I'll tell you like this. She, I, if that was that lady, I hope she poured her down too. I'm finna sue everybody. I'm suing Wall. I'm, I'm, I'm the person that's giving the prosciutto, and I'm finna sue all y'all. Because she's too heavy and she knocked me down. I'm afraid of working, too. How weak are your ankles to slip on a piece of meat that's so thin? It's about the same texture as Angel that soft. family dollar toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, that, that had to be some good ham to hold together. You yeah. Make her slip. Man. Our buddy told us about wearing them sheet how many pieces of prosciutto do you need to make a sandwich or whatever it's called? Uh, at least three, I would say. You need a little more than three. And if it's that thin deli cut, then you're going to need a slop of that shit. You're going to get a whole. <laughs> you got to be like the claw when you grab that shit and throw it on there. I ain't lying. That's insane, man. The goddamn grocery store ain't going to be giving out no more free samples. I mean, Y'all going to get the free samples yourself. I wouldn't even leave them out there. Ain't nobody eat shit free here no more. Motherfuckers slipping and suing. They know how to, you can't even, <laughs> bruh, you can't put a wet flow sign next to the motherfucker giving out samples. Well, yeah, you can. Wet flow, bitch. But wet she meat ain't paying sign. attention. She ain't hey. paying attention to some hillbilly who throwed that shit on the floor. I can't eat that garbage. I was at Sam Club this weekend. I seen so many people. 
they get they free samples and they throw their cups on the floor. Oh yeah, I'm like, I see it all damn, the time. Why would you do such a thing? <laughs> that was a heinous thing, right? Just they just throw their cups on the floor. Yeah, and this is white people, black people. It don't matter. Ain't no trash can around. Either, are they gonna put it on? The, put it on the. Put it in the freezer or put it on top of the paper towel. I ain't got nowhere to put this. Just put it in your cart, goddammit. <laughs> Brandy. <laughs> he ain't lying, boy. I should, I should I should I should take it to like some black grocery store, boy, and everyone I go to, boy, you'll see a chicken wing on the aisle. I don't even know where they nigga getting these chicken wings from. They ain't selling no exposed chicken wings in some of these grocery stores, bro, and they be on the aisle. Every black grocery store, bro, I take you to one. I'd be like, bro, it's a chicken wing in here, nigga. If you find I'll give you $5. I'll lose my <laughs> money. I love my, I love my black people, bro. They be opening up the cookies. I was at Sam Club. I picked up a case of water. It was missing four. And I said, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> you stealing the water? But I'm going to mind my business. I don't want to get busted in the head, man. Moving on. Let's get on down to the Navy SEAL who said he killed Osama Bin Laden from the blaze.com. Boy, they had to arrest that boy that weekend for goddamn <laughs> intoxication. And a misdemeanor charge of uh, bodily injury and public intoxication. You think he, I killed Bin Laden. I kill you too. <laughs> goddamn, bro. You need to put them Mickeys down, man. He had yeah. four Long Island life teeth. <laughs> <laughs> what your boy say? Drugging that shit from Applebee, boy, I'm going to fuck you up. Well, he got arrested at FB, right? Yeah, yeah. Margarita. I went FB. It said, Mar- um, uh, it just said some restaurant. It didn't say the restaurant. Man, he, he know what crazy intoxication. He stuck in between a rock and a hard play because nigga, you famous, but you really ain't. So y'all think he was out there gloating a little bit? Cause no. like, bro, what I, hey, look, what did Truman tell that motherfucker? They don't care who shot Ben Laden. I ordered <laughs> the shooting of Ben Laden. That's how they gonna remember. Yeah, yeah. And then there's some kind of controversy over whether he actually actually did shoot Ben Laden. And I'm gonna tell you, man, if I saw this dude in the bar, I wouldn't know he was the guy who shot Ben Laden. He'd been, been some drunk asshole. Yeah, could have been one of them next. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then uh, somebody's probably like, fucking bullshit, you shot Ben Laden, motherfucker. Yeah. And then next thing you know, a bar fight breaks out. All right. Getting that child, getting the old Charleston on a nigga. This motherfucker has Buzz already got a DUI. Audrey. Go ahead, Brandon. I was about to say, this motherfucker's already got a DUI. Like, slow, slow your roll. Why you ain't at work? Well, he shot Ben Laden. No he ain't got to go no to more. work. He got a purple heart and said, fuck it. Uh, no purple hearts, but he's got like three bronze stars and or like two silver stars, a couple bronze stars, some kind of commendation. I mean, yeah, I'm sure once he retired from the special forces and shit, he's probably doing all right, you would think. Yeah, drank too much at Cheesecake K factor during the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, I got he, he ain't got no job no more. So he, he out there hitting all the ball. You know me? I do not know who you are, sir. I killed Bin Laden. Bring the police. This man, on, he, he had six drinks and tipped me $4. <laughs> Him and that quarterback from Ohio State were in Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> no, I'm broke. Up, man. no one cares about the government trying to recommend that you only drink two beers or two alcoholic beverages a week. You can kiss my ass and we can move on. The My only goodness. way some people live in this world without hurting somebody and putting a little juice on their lips. <laughs> <laughs> taking, sauce, the, taking the edge, y'all. That's all. Taking the edge, y'all. Let's get on down to leadbible.com. I can't believe it. The Loch Ness monster spotted on wild camp- camper drone. I looked at it. I said, damn, that's look like a big beast. But a lot of people were sitting there. And the Loch Ness monster ain't knocked nothing over. Eat the, he ain't do no boo boo or goddamn, you know, uh, Yogi the Bear steal the picnic basket. He just floating around the water. If you want to catch the Loch Ness monster, drain that goddamn lake. Cause I am looking forward to some Loch Ness monster snake. I mean steaks. Yeah. And I don't know, man. Like, 
it looked like a kind of a big fish or something. I don't know. It didn't look super impressive to me. And they were like, look at this picture. And I was like, I don't, I thought it was on the shore for a second. I was like, what am I looking at? I had to like, look at a whole different article where they did zoomed in and circled in, like circled on it. it yeah, like, me too. This is what they're talking about. Yeah. I don't know. I ain't see. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I feel. I always tell y'all, white folks, go chasing the devil. You are gonna find. Don't jump in that water. You gonna peel. Do you? Hey, if it if it was legit and true, one of them next would have jumped in there and said, "I'm finna ride the Loch Ness." I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean a lot. Drink with a bud like this hand. Oh yeah. I mean a lot of people have tried it. Yeah. Do you want to be the one to get drowned by the Loch Ness because you thought it was fake? No, no. If I can avoid drowning, then I'm definitely going that route. I'm just saying, if you ain't seen it in a hundred years, it's just like Bigfoot, or uh, just like El Chupacabra. I need some real pictures. Everybody got a gun. Shoot them between the eyes. Hit them with a brick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I want to believe. You know, I want to believe that somewhere I out there. I want to believe. It's still oh, I'm some pretty mystery. sure shit out there, but um, but you keep telling me you can't. We got the greatest cameras in the world. You should be able to take a snapshot of anything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, especially with a, a camera everywhere now, all the time. But I mean, I don't know. Maybe this is it. Maybe that drone footage is you know is the picture. But and as I go back to many pe- many white people hunting Bigfoot. Yeah, I should have been put a call around his neck. How is he so elusive? You know how giving him the motherfucking wolf and call. Yeah, because he's an alien. Or a time traveler. Give him motherfucker that wolf and call. They pay attention. If this if Bigfoot walked around this law, do you know how diseased he would be? <laughs> do you know which 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 white cracker ready to run up here right now? I want to take a picture of you and turn to a skeleton, Mom Rod, nigga. <laughs> Insane. Change, change this to t- decay in form. <laughs> yeah, suck them dry. I found Bigfoot children. How, nigga? Y'all ain't seen him in 50 years. He got chillers. Where Mrs. Bigfoot at? <laughs> there you go. Who procreated this thing? Y'all ain't hear nobody screaming in the woods. Y'all burning half the forest down and you still ain't seen him? <laughs> He, he must get on his spaceship and go back into outer space. Moving on. Let's get on down to white folk, black folk crazy news. White terror strikes again. I tell you what, but y'all right terror been striking all week. I think y'all really starting to lose y'all purpose. They hit y'all with that 2045 shit. Y'all ain't going to be here too long. <laughs> Why are folks just going crazy? We've been to burn the city down every day. We are freaking out. I'm not sure this man was a white man, but lawandcrime.com, man with bladed glove who attacked Black Lives Matter protester, convicted of attempted murder. <laughs> this thing looked like he pulled it out of Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. It was dangerous all outdoors. What was he doing with this? Was he trying to do an Edward Scissorhands thing where he was manicuring people's fucking shrubs? (laughs) Yeah. He was trying to manicure those necks. (laughs) Yeah. That white man, that that white man, he wasn't trying to manicure no lines. I was like, Jamar, he finna finna shave some skin off some motherfucker around now. But you know what my biggest problem is? You left the house with this in your car? And got out of your car and put this on and thought you were finna do something. Thought I wasn't going to jail today. Just saying. How many people assume killing somebody in the protest gonna be all right? <laughs> it seems too many niggas. Cause what? He he woke up that morning, and Brandon said, "I'm gonna take this glove that I'm gonna scalp somebody." He yeah. had breakfast. He talked to his wife. He probably talked to his children. He, was, he had his keys attached to his goddamn belt, to his belt buckle. Come on, man. Tighten up, man. <laughs> Y'all remember what happened to that white dude who shot that bow and arrow at that black dude? Boy, he fell in like the zombie apocalypse. You know, all the zombies in your hand, the only thing little. <laughs> <laughs> he was praying for all types of Jesus. 
Man, he he didn't know the F one ones felt like that. He was definitely and them choosing Jordans. violence. Yeah. Yeah, I had had to tighten up, man. Moving on, let's get on down to independent um independent dot com. Alabama, I tell you what, Alabama, Mississippi need to be eradicated from Georgia. I mean eradicated from the United States of America. Alabama wants to be the first state to execute a prisoner by making him breathe only nitrogen. What? That's a little callous, ain't it? A little cold, ain't it? Uh, that's how we're going to find out how aliens exist. Yeah. Oh, I guess the nitrogen sucking. Yep. Yeah, yeah, once that dude starts thriving, you know, and his lizard DNA comes out. Yeah, that's true, too. I'm just like, nitrogen? You can't figure no other way to kill a man. The electric chair was worse enough. But now you're going to have him choke to death and bleed out the eyes and nose and mouth in front of people? Do they still do uh, executions in front of people? Uh, yeah, they As far as they I don't, know. They don't, we talked about it. They don't televise them like they used to back in the 90s and the early 2000s. Don't forget that day. They, I think the boy was 14. He wasn't even big enough, bro. They put him on some phone books and executed him. We got to tighten up in their world, man. Yeah, Life in prison. You know, what are we doing here? We burning people at the stakes again. It's prison. I understand prison suck. But some of y'all ain't even doing y'all goddamn homework. We just arresting people and killing them. And then come back 15 years later, he was found innocent, but you burned him alive. It was a dude whose job was to hit the switch. <laughs> <laughs> Let that shit sink in your head. He <laughs> passed the buck. I ain't got to worry about the jail. He got to worry about it. He the one hitting the switch. <laughs> Passing the buck. The smell of that human head getting fried with, with, I don't know, that should have mortified me the rest of my life. Moving on to the Daily Mail UK, an Italian hotel has made a groveling apology after a bikini-clad female employee was covered in chocolate and used as the centerpiece of a buffet. Mm-hmm. Now I love a good buffet, but I don't love no naked woman. On can you imagine if you went to Golden Corral? And some <laughs> naked woman got her toes in the jello. Hold up, bro. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Her toenail ain't even done. It got, well, I can't eat that shit. And my favorite thing, Gil, what if she can't hold her poop and she just poop? Do you keep eating the, um whatever was on the menu? The cakes and the pastries and the sandwich? I don't know if she farts in my gummy bears on my fucking chocolate swirl. Man, y'all, hey, man. First off, why your feet on the table? All the motherfucking places to be at, bitch. Your feet on the table. I don't want none of this shit on this table. Now, if it was Scarlett Johansson, baby, put your feet in them grapes. Dig, <laughs> dig, dig. <laughs> don't even know how Scarlett Johansson <laughs> Not no re- not no regular woman. At least put her some socks on, some combat yeah, boots. Yeah, you know, I ain't no feet, motherfucker. Yeah, put the combat boots on. Brand new now. Get some Doc Martens. God damn it. They smell good when they brand new. Don't wear them forever. You know, I feel sorry for the employee. Everybody complaining. and she's still sitting there. You better not move. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't understand this at all, but... What about the scumbag with a came in there? Like, hey, baby, <laughs> what you serving? <laughs> Cat, how many bad jokes had to go through that place? A few. Eh, whatever. Go ahead, Mark. Check out. I got a move for you. Check out. Look up Sushi Girl. Look at Tony Todd and uh, um, he didn't even got what's name in it. Um, uh, Mark Hamill. Sushi Girl. Check it out. I think it was on Netflix or Hulu or one of them. And they got this whole thing with it. They eating all this sushi off this woman. I am as much as I love to be a pervert. I ain't, I'm not eating no goddamn food off no rando woman. Now, your own wife and girl, yeah, you can eat some goddamn snickerdoodles, a couple pieces of sushi, or maybe, <laughs> maybe a bologna sandwich, but not no rando woman when you don't know she been. She's sitting there, she's sitting there butt-ass naked with chocolate all over her eye clothes. And then lady dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that God. Was- that, yeah, that would be 
horrific. Polka says, it, what did she laugh? Woo, baby, you need to cut them hair. I <laughs> thought she was shaving. <laughs> Fucking hee hee. Yeah. Tighten up, people. Moving on to the dailycaller.com. Long Island man said he drove 140 miles to the vet as both of his chihuahuas overdosed on cocaine. He said he don't know how they got it. Yeah, we know how they got it. Can you Allegedly. imagine your two chihuahuas on cocaine? They eyes, they eyes dilated. They sitting there. They 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 don't know what's going on. Yeah, because you know, they'd be barking. Yeah, Columbia. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, they be sitting there with. Hold on, Jermaine. They be sitting there, Raphael Warnock, saying what? Somebody's got to open up the jails. <laughs> And let this motherfucker in. Go on to what he gave us. Bro, do you know the size of a chihuahua heart? You know what a, <laughs> do you know what a sack of coke would do to him? Boy, I'm, I'm glad it wasn't that, that Peruvian. He probably had some of that <laughs> step dog stuff. His dog was all right. <laughs> he should have had a little tasty for sure. No, his dog's a little tasty. Hey, man, don't bite that sack. How you get both of you? How you got both of your chihuahuas? Why are you leaving your coke at where your chihuahua is eating it up? You, I'll you be face mad. a year in jail. He faced oh, a year he? in jail, a thousand dollar fine. Oh, yeah. He took he his dogs trouble. away from him. Yeah, man. Stop leaving your goddamn drugs out for just any Tom, Dick, and Harry to fucking be able to get to them. I mean, what are you doing? Yeah, been spent a year in jail for some dogs. He was getting ready. He was getting ready for the party tonight, but the dog was ruining it. He should have kept it in his shoe. Then he could have put your shoes on, son. Get ready <laughs> to sniff some cocaine all night. I mean, what are you trying to do? Have some pre lines ready for the people to come? Yeah, don't pre cut it, man. I don't want my I, whatever. Go ahead. He got that pre cut lines, the party lines. Goddamn, boy, I bet you them dog eyes was he. They probably were dying while he was talking. They probably were talking to him. Die, owner. Boss, I don't feel too well. You can talk. <laughs> yeah, when I'm on this much cocaine, I can, my dog language is, is, out, is out of rhythm. Uh, shit's outstanding. God. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I'd have freaked out man. for Why? sure. But, I mean, he's got to do a year in jail. I guess yeah, the vet cost is, has to be outrageous, you know. He going to have to pay for uh, that, too. And you took my dogs? Yeah, and you got to go to jail. The moment my dog eat all the cocaine, what they gonna hear, Brandon? <laughs> Get the shovel. We gotta put him in the backyard. Yeah, no shit. Oh man, moving on to insider.com. This is white terror at its best. A mountaineer is accused of stepping over a dying man during her pursuit of a world record. I believe it's the chance to be a hero, Clamor said. You know what, no, Brandon and Jamar. In, in lieu of this situation, get your dead weight ass off me, dead beat. You couldn't beat the challenge. That's why you here hurting. And you still Boy, survive. She, she stepped over a dying god. Man, that's his fault. He, he a god and he on the flow. You can't trust him. <laughs> You you know what's insane? They said Mount Everest is filled with dead bodies and people just keep walking over them. Yeah. So they can get to the top. They waiting they were wait they die. you remember the article the time we read the article they were dying in line just waiting to start to walk on it? Yeah. Yeah. It just Why white would folks. you do such a thing? Only white folk can do that. I don't think I can sit there and step on a man with my goddamn uh with them spike boots when he cre- he's screaming for help. Fuck you, dog. I'm gonna be I'm gonna beat my all time challenge. Yeah. I mean, for the dude to still be I, if it's just a for, you know, Jack Nicholson at the end of the shining frozen guy just standing there, I can walk by him, but you know, my homie who's been helping me up this mountain. I can't make it. I need to turn back. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Yeah. You know how far we is, motherfucker. Ain't no turning back. <laughs> Right, that's <laughs> cold blooded. Can, can you imagine falling down a mountain, then grabbing on one of those frozen body? 
Hopefully his arm maintain my body weight. <laughs> yeah, ride that motherfucker like a sled. Somebody finna, somebody finna have a funeral <laughs> this week. <laughs> somebody, y'all been looking for this. Y'all been looking for this nigga. That first thing that came out my dude. mind. Hey man, he, he survived. Walked, he was. He, no, he died. I'm pretty sure. I thought she said he uh, survived. I, oh, well, how the hell they know he? How the hell they know he walked over her? I mean, he, he walked. They got footage of it. Oh well, damn. I was told I had my earbuds in. I ain't know what he was saying. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I I thought you were telling us to keep going. <laughs> I'm listening to my mantra. Didn't even pay attention. All right, where my trophy at? <laughs> oh man, y'all white folk got to stop. I would never go up a mountain where I can possibly die yet. And have other people step on my dead body. Do you know how many? What are, what are those expensive coats? Pe- white people always be wearing when they go they go mountain climbing. Uh, not the Parkers, the, uh, the North uh, Face. Yeah, North huh? Face. North Face makes you know great coats. North Face. You know how many North Faces are in the goddamn Alpines or any mountain top that when people died at. Mount Everest, right? That's where they climbing? Nah, she wouldn't climb Mount Everest. There was another mountain. Goddamn North Face jacket still holding up <laughs> tight while them skeletons up there. <laughs> That's where they get their old models from. What's a 1990 model? How long? He, yeah, take it off his back. They don't even look, boy. Them, <laughs> them motherfuckers, they look, them, cold them jackets good, good boy. They, hey, they hold up forever. I don't think we're going to make it. Now I'm the second person buried in this coat. Unlucky <laughs> ass coat. <laughs> oh man, let's get on down to the mirror dot com. A <laughs> drunk pr- primary teacher pulled out, pulled out of a classroom with a glass of wine. I like. Then that. lady looked like she was having a bad day. I miss the old day when your teacher would tell y'all we watching. We gonna watch a movie? What? Enter the dragon while he drank a beer in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I man. miss the old day. We watched Jurassic Park. He back there smoking a the cigarette out the window. Yeah, Come on, man. Dragon. You need a little edge off the top. These I kids ain't worth that. shit. Remember the teacher used to be smoking in the classroom. They'd be smoking out the window like, damn, nigga. We, we can smell it. We can see it. Whatever, like Jamal said. God damn, we watching day Jurassic Park. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh man, a third grade teacher was arrested on suspicions of being drunk on a job after a staff noticed that her cup was illegally f- was 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 filled with wine. I'm telling you, man. You, you, this is when I told you, Brandon. Life is getting harder and harder every day. We got to start back bringing back some of the old things. Whipping children in school. Let your teachers smoke in the classroom. Let them get a drink. Do Somebody should been minding their business. I feel that. If she, I, I, bro, if she ain't did no harm and she been working there forever, why are you fucking with that lady? That ain't her first wine trip. Hell no. Not if it was in her desk and she pulled the cup out. She probably pulled it in the desk. What you drinking? Mind your business. <laughs> you see this solo cup? You know what time it is. Turn up. <laughs> hey, what, having to deal with those little bastards all day? Fuck, I'd be damn... Yeah, I'd be pouring one up too. Mm-hmm. Goddamn, you feel that? in my eyes every day. You smell like marijuana. Yeah, I seen your mama on OnlyFans. I'll shut up. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't know she can do stuff like that. Let's move on down to WSB TV. This is Georgia news. I need y'all white people to stop. You got weed. Georgia man arrested after trying to mail five pounds of weed to Walgreens. <laughs> Thompsonville, Georgia. It's a good, it's a, it is, it is a trick that a lot of people are doing. They're getting weed and stuff mailed to your house and they waiting for the postman to show up so they can grab it. Yeah, you got to watch mailing it through the, through the post office and shit, you know. The post office don't care, but you got to be smart enough to send not to send that shit to a Walgreen. It got five you pounds. You know how much five pounds weigh, motherfucker? 
You think that person who just got that you that uh that that post office or that UPS ain't gonna bust that box open? Shit. <laughs> he probably, it would be crippy. He probably got called at the uh at the Walgreens for somebody who don't smoke weed probably found it. Somebody intercepted a package containing five pounds of weed, FedEx shipping, in Tallahassee, Florida. Oh well. It gone, Jack. Don't be outside the Walgreens walking side to side waiting on that shit to deliver, nigga. But you going? Maybe to he jail. worked there. Oh, I said, was... you know, we we she we sell t shirts, and people say, "Can you mail it to my job?" I'm like, I don't give a goddamn if it disappeared. That's up on you. They're right. But here, Billy, come on, man, tighten up. I, I I can only say one smart thing. If you gonna if you if you gonna mail that type of stuff to yourself, do overnight. It is very expensive, and nobody asks no questions. <laughs> I was about to say the same thing. I yeah. can't afford to pay ninety nine dollars, but you gonna got go to jail for ten years because you did the ten day shipping. <laughs> yeah, word. <laughs> yeah, you got to you got to take that out of the profits a little bit, you know. Tighten up, people. Move. Don't worry about no profits now. Get ready to wrap it on up. Let's get on down to the inside of dot com. We always need a champion in this world. An American tourist fill up a fog machine with marijuana and blast the streets with smoke at a popular tour at a popular tourist um, tourist destination in Thailand to promote to promote his business back home. Well, the police busted their head all up in there. Once they <laughs> once they figure out once they figure out the demons weren't real, they had to go to him. Brandon, yeah. How many lumps did this man ask for? A whole lot of lumps. Boy, oh boy! How much weed did he waste? He had a morning brew logo, but not my he. You know, by local police apologized for causing damage to the tourism image. I would love to see somebody do that. As long as they ain't got no fentanyl in it and ain't no children around. And I'm not around. Well, I'm close enough to watch him get fucking beat. Mash. Yeah, yeah. When the fucking nightsticks come out. <laughs> but the police probably around there twirling the nightstick. Woo, they ain't, you know, they ain't got no mask on. They high too. They had to get finna eating that um big chicken sandwich. But well, he had to go bust his head. <laughs> go and grab something to eat. Hell yeah. <laughs> we'll get him tomorrow. That's insane to me, but I like that boy got Moxie. I like it. He was out there to get That'd his head a- bust for free. At the end of the world, we're gonna buy us a fog machine and put nothing but reefer in it. We're gonna put it in the party room. Be the best party we probably ever have in our life. I like it. Moving on, real quick, Whiskey Riff. I love whiskey, whiskey Riff. Olive Garden person found a rat foot in his soup. Y'all got to tighten up, Olive <laughs> Garden. When you're there, Moving you're Moving on to McDonald's. They found a That's dead gross. rodent in they, in they uh, McNuggets or they hash brown. Dude, where are gross. these food again, inspectors They at? put the shit in the microwave. <laughs> Yeah, where's the health inspector when you need him? Well, were well, you worried about that? Put his chicken nuggets. They got thirteen year old motherfucker working. He don't know what that is. What this is? I ain't never seen no shit like that. Put in the fry. Yeah, where's the quality control? <laughs> Once again, we got eleven year olds. Well, no, eleven year olds did their job. We got fucking thirty year olds working at McDonald's. And Ninety year old motherfuckers don't want to work. I can let a lot of shit slide, but I don't know if I see a rat face in my fucking never ending breadsticks. <laughs> yeah. well, I got to snap some next, boy. John Wick going on in that McDonald's. I'm going to yeah. tell you like this. If I see one in mine, boy, I'm going to be disgusted, but I'm going to be smiling from the from the table to the door. Hey, bitch. Oh, yeah. Y'all see this? Ooh, what is it? Yeah, it was in there. Give me the go box. <laughs> I'm going <on> my- <laughs> I'm going to dump all that. You see that? Ooh, I can't believe it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You saw it. The manager saw it. They're going home. Somebody ain't going to have no job. And they play going to be named All of Maine. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. Moving on to the last story, boy. A huge cracker doll that is rumored to have eaten 300 people escaped capture in a dramatic footage. I seen this. 
I said, if it ain't 300 people, you need to be, you need to have the Uzis, the tummy guns, and the grenades to blow him out the water. How do you let something escape that has eaten 300 people? I mean, crocodiles are pretty wally. Yeah. You should have been saying that 12 40, gauge. Man. He'll tighten up. There you go, Jamal. I mean, really, all you need is a 22 close to the head. I've watched fucking uh, swamp people, but. You get you one of them Coke 45 and brand the sunlight off that motherfucker. I bet he act right. Oh, I don't want none of that. That should have put <laughs> a hole in champagne across the head. <laughs> the Holy Grail. You look at that Coleco. Them bottle hard as hell. Yeah. Get him to double tap that motherfucker. Get some bubbly. <laughs> yeah. We need to do a CT scan on this guy that <laughs> on this, on this cracker now that killed 300 people. <laughs> Look like somebody gave him ten lumps. And he had brain hemorrhaging. <laughs> the crocodile had a concussion from what? <laughs> <laughs> I had to call up the brat and see how my swinging arm is. Oh, oh man, man, y'all got y'all got to tighten up. How if you I let ever that go, a, man? Oh, what up, man? Go ahead, more. Y'all hey man, you know, you know, you know the white folk they be trying to say that cracker. He didn't mean to eat three hundred people. Shit, them three hundred people. What they heard, Brandon? <laughs> that crocodile meant to eat everyone. Crocodile got to eat one person, and we gonna blow his brains out to next week. We gonna be eating goddamn crocodile bites for the next six weeks. Insane, and that's the last story I have. Go ahead, Jermaine. I just say one more thing. I said you do it right. Shit, um, what's the name of Papa Do's about that crocodile from you? They serve that motherfucker with an alligator bites. Boy, they delicious. I assume Brandon never had alligator bites. I, come on, I ain't never had no alligator bites. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Uh, I love alligator bites. They're delicious. My, my bad, right? Yeah. They are the most delicious thing I ever, and they not even fishy. <laughs> no, no, you know they're a little chewy. Kind of tastes like chicken. Yeah, man, they got we got a place, or we did have a place. I'm not sure if it's still open or not. Uh, phenomenal seafood, man. Look it up if you're in the uh, Atlanta metro area. It's delicious. They got gator bites, mm. Ramelon sauce, delicious. Right. Thing in the world, boy. But then we'll wrap it up. Episode 257. I do appreciate all you guys for coming out. Yeah, I'm a little low energy today, but we're going to get you back at a Dragon Con. If I go, maybe maybe, maybe Brandon will do another Dragon Con update. He should do that last year. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll try to I'll try to do another one. Yeah. It's kind of hard when, when motherfucker with Dragon Con at home. And, man, boy. Do, yeah, do it, Brandon. You okay. might have time. Yeah, I'll try to. We're going to see what's going on. We do appreciate all the people who listen every week. And last week's episode was on point. We gave it our all. And this week, we dropped the ball. But next week, we coming back with full force. We getting on that Ukraine plane to go play pachinko with the rest of the people. No, we will not be getting on that plane. No, I still <laughs> will not be flying nowhere in the zone of that area or any plane that say that. The moment I get in the plane, you speak English, you look at me crazy, it is time to ride. I'm going to pass it on to Jermaine. I appreciate everybody for coming through. Paper Hands White, always coming with the stories on delight. I appreciate you, Jordan, always coming through. I got to get together, goddammit. Get Jordan and goddamn White some shit. Um, Chris. Dusty Easerman. Who else? Kim and Kim, you on the end of the world, just Dusty Easy man. When I seen that hat, I said this motherfucker look too cool to die alone. You got to come hang out with the black people at the end of the world. Oh, that motherfucker on my list. That motherfucker can do a lot of things, man. That motherfucker can taxidermy. He could do a bunch of shit. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. He on my list. He top of the line. He top of the line, Nick. He can fit between the borderline of everybody. Blacks, white, Hispanics, all of them. I like him. I'm gonna pass the I'm gonna pass the buck to B Rock. If I let you out, my if I forgot about you, my apologies. We'll get you next time. Hey, what's up, Carly? 
There you go, home boy. Do your thing. What's up, your boy? Be rocked, white liaison. Don't forget that you can go to. Uh, let's see. You can go to Facebook and check us out there, Tokyo Black Hour. You can check us out on uh, Twitter at Tokyo Black Pod. Uh, you can write in to us, Tokyo Black Hour at Gmail dot com. Uh, write in, man. Let us know what y'all think. Let us know what you, you got crazy stories going on in your neighborhood. Write in. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, check out Christian's book, Seven Lives, Ten Lives. They're on sale now. No lives left coming soon. While you're waiting for that one, head on over to Endless Ink Publishing and check out their anthology called Earth's Final Chapter and check out Christian's uh, part in that anthology called Casa Luna. Then head on over to YouTube. Check out Dusty and Stephanie's uh, podcast, A Date with Dustiny. Uh, they're still watching 60 Days In. Shit's been getting wild. Uh, they're hilarious, so definitely go give them a like and subscribe. Uh, go to the uh, TKB Panda Shop and buy some gear. Be the first kid on your block with some gear. Yes. Uh, Appreciate think, it. Yeah, I think that's it. Hey, we're going to leave you on this note. When Christian and Dusty got their residual check, Brandon... <laughs> yeah, looking puny. Yeah. <laughs> we God. appreciate you again and thank you to Jordan and Paper Hand Whites for keep sending us great stories. We'll see you guys next week. And what guess what? Time. Happy Labor Day. Because boy, we're gonna be off yeah. on that Monday. We sure are. Yeah. I got God a bless fuck, I got a five day weekend coming up. Can you believe that shit? Ain't no ain't nothing wrong with that. It's, be- it's better than what you had a couple years ago. Boy, you ain't lying. Let's get litty. <laughs> Peace. Tokyo Black Hold it down. Review is out. Appreciate it, Brewer. Yep. Hi, homeboy. Yeah.